Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Nicholas Davenport, a.k.a. Mr. Mental Muscle. Now, today I want to go over a clip that I saw on the internet from 19 Keys. He has a lot of great content, and I stumbled across this clip and immediately it resonated with me because it was talking about goals. Now, the thing about goals, people talk about them all the time, and what he said about them specifically, I wanted to break down from a different perspective since I'm in the mental performance, psychological field, and I want to give it from my perspective because I see what he was getting at. And I want to clarify where I think some people in his comments might have missed what he was trying to say, but I understood it. But I want to break it down from my point of view so we can see it from how a psychology or a mental coach or someone like that would see it when it comes to goal setting. Because when it comes to goal setting, there's a lot of things where people do to say they want to achieve something, but they'll say it, but they'll not actually do it. And this is very important because if there's nothing behind the thought, He's going to mention this actually in the clip, and I'll let him say it better. But basically, where is it really going to get you? So let's take a look at the clip, and then I want to break it down, as I always do, and give you the psychological perspective of it. I don't believe in goals. I believe in habits. Mm -hmm. Habits produce results, not mm -hmm. goals. Goals are just ideas, That's right? Contrast. Something that you may want. But if you're a big girl or a big dude right now, and you say, man, I want to be fit, but you don't have the habits of going to the gym, you don't have the habits of eating correct, you're never going to be fit. I don't care how much of a law of attraction secret book you read. I don't care how much you <laughs> meditate. <laughs> None of that matters. You will be obese forever. <laughs> Same thing is like, don't have rich goals and poor habits, Same right? Thing. Yeah. So make sure you actually have wealthy habits and you get wealthy results. Yeah, so if yeah. I study somebody that is wealthy and I do exactly what they do, I'm getting their exact results. It's simple. If I eat exactly like somebody that is fit, I'm going to become fit, right? I'm working out just like them. I'm taking on their routine and their habits. That's what I become because habits produce results. Goals just are ideas. So I agree with everything what he just said. He said a lot and there's a lot that correlates with psychology. So I'll break that down. But habits get the results. And he said that goals are just ideas. Now, in his comments, there's a lot of people who are countering him because they're saying, well, I set goals and I achieve them and they give me structure. So I think where the confusion or the disconnect might have came is because how he worded it, saying he doesn't believe in goals. I think he does believe in goals. He's just saying that you can't just have outcomes because let's talk about goals for a second. When it comes to goal setting, most people are only talking about the outcome. That's the final result. That's what you get at the end. If I want to go to college, I'm seeing that degree. If I want to lose weight, I'm seeing that slimmer body or more muscular body. If I want to get a better job, I'm seeing myself in that position. Cool. That's great. We need that. But outcome only does so much for us. But when he says habits, this is actually something we call in psychology, it's called a process goal. Now, process goals are the day-to-day, -day, even hour-to-hour, -hour, minutes to minute things, the actions, the processes that are needed to be done so you can get to the performance and the performance is how we execute and the execution leads to the outcome. So it goes process leads to performance, performance leads to outcome. So goals are needed. It's just that he used the term habit and I'm not the one to get in semantics. I think a lot of people in his comments were getting into the semantics of the term. He said, I don't believe in goals. I believe in habits, but he had the right notion. He knew what he meant. I get what he is saying and he even went to framing it as doing what other people do. So that's another thing psychology called social modeling. So a social model in a general sense was created by Albert Bandura, where he would see how children react to other adult figures, because who are the first people we see the first five to 10 years of our lives, right? Our parents or other adults that are significant to us. So in that same framework, that can be carried out to people who are trying to do what we're trying to do in our respective field, our goals as far as losing weight, getting a better opportunity in a job, being a creator, content, whatever it is. If we see what they're doing, our brain not only acclimates it from a cognitive level of, oh, this is what I need to do, how I process what they're doing, but also saying what to do, what not to do, and give you some kind of guideline or, or even goal, right? So goals go beyond just the outcome. So that's what he was trying to get at. And I think people missed the mark and they threw away the message. So I agree 100%. Like I said, this is coming from my opinion from a, a psych expert, someone who has degrees in psychology, does this with multiple demographics, such as athletes, law enforcement, military, businesses, CEOs, the list goes on. So he has the right notion because what I tell my clientele, you have to have those processes, in this case, what he calls a habit, because what is our default mode? What are we going to fall back on when things don't work? A habit is what's formed. So if you don't do it the way it's intended, we revert back. We're always going to revert back to a lesser state. So what is the habits you form? Because that's what we're going to do when things go wrong. 
So that's what he's getting at. And I, I like that message because whenever I mess up, I know that my lesser trained self will be better than most people's higher trained self. And that's not a shot or anything, but that's why you have to forge those habits to set those goals and then follow through with them because they'll get you to the point where you need to be because it's very rarely going to be a clear cut path. So that's why I get why he says he doesn't believe in goals because a lot of times that outcome is never going to look or come when you want it, how you want it. So let's get away from the actual outcome and look at the processes or habits. That's the way to truly get your mind right.